I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Be water, my friend. The famous saying of the late Hong Kong American martial arts star Bruce Lee has become the clarion call for young protesters in Hong Kong. The protest in Hong Kong has been going on for almost three months now, and language has been taking a break, as you all know. I have posted a blog post about that uh, a while ago, explaining a little bit more about what's been going on in my mind. It's been a really hard time for me personally. I know I have to keep this going, but I just feel very tired and emotionally down. It's hard for me to put up the face that I'm happy when I'm not, I guess. But anyway, I want to share this with you. Oh, can you hear the cicadas? That's cool. But anyway, I want to share this episode with you specifically about water. So let's blow some water and talk about water in Cantonese. If you have been following language channel on our Instagram and paying attention to the uh, A Canto A Day series, you might have already seen this, but today we're going to talk about the word so. You can go back to look at that post, but today we're going to talk way more about so and the water culture in Cantonese. Water in Cantonese is exactly like Bruce Lee described, a formless, shape-shifting, magical word that carries many meanings and can be used just about anywhere. Now, water symbolizes a lot of different things across all cultures. But in Cantonese, the symbolism of water has been taken to an other level. We combine the word soi with other ordinary words that are used in everyday life, and they are transformed into these vivid terms that you can almost visualize just by saying the words or hearing the words. It's kind of hard to translate the vibe of the terms into English. Uh, I will try my best to pick uh, the best equivalent in English to explain what the term actually means or what it's trying to convey. I will also put the literal translation because some of them have a pretty straightforward literal meaning and have adopted additional meaning over time and so I'll try to explain all of that. But there's just so many of them so maybe I'll just make lists some other time. But here you go. Hi,你排,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,新水,
the water terms that I've mentioned in some other more um, in the description or in the future blog post if you're interested. I hope to see you next time. Thank you for all your support. I will try to keep up with making more videos. It's just been a pretty crazy couple months and it's also busy season for me because it's wedding season. Uh, so I'm shooting and editing and all of that. Um, but I will keep it going. I will not let the language of Hong Kong and its culture die. This is language and I am Naomi. I think I forgot to say that earlier. But anyway, uh, bye.